What's up guys, it's Risky here, welcome back to some more Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 on the channel here today. And in today's video, we're finally done with the C10 build. Build. <laughs> if you haven't checked that out, go check it out, because that was really, really fun, and we transformed that truck into a beautiful truck, in my opinion. But today, we're doing something a little bit different. We got this drift cart out here, as it is called. Uh, I went through and I did the rear brakes already, because they were pretty toast. Everything else is in pretty decent shape, as you can see. Nothing's, like, terribly rusted, which means it's in pretty good shape here. Uh, and I, I went through and I checked everything. Everything's above, like, 80%, 70%, so that's fine. And it's just a little drift toy. It ain't gotta be perfectly brand new. Uh, but I did do the brakes, because, obviously, brakes in a drift car are pretty important. I really like it. I painted it. It was, like, a weird, ugly green like that, so I painted it red. Uh, I put... Or no, it came with these seats and the steering wheel. I really like it. Um, this, is, this is a mod, by the way. Uh, and it also has this beast of an engine here, the V8 dual overhead KM supercharged. It already makes 703 horsepower. Uh, and this is all the stock parts from the main shop. Today, we already got the block set up over there. We're going to be using the parts from the, uh, what you call it, the, the tuning shop. So, the advanced part section, as I like to call it. Um, the upgraded parts to hopefully get this thing up to, you know, maybe 900,000 horsepower or something. And then I do have a new track. I downloaded the Daytona 500, uh, or the Daytona Speedway or whatever. And we're going to take it out there and just mess around and see if we can do some drifting on the track. We're going to get started on this, so we definitely need to, uh, go in here first. <clears throat> we'll go in here and start by taking out the battery, the servo... And all of this radiator fan crap. Because we're going to replace all of that probably. And that should be everything for the front half here. we got to raise the car up now, I think. Let's see. Anything else we need to take out? Actually, we'll take that fuel filter out while we are up here. And, you know, normally... Actually, we shouldn't have to take the heads off. We should be okay. Yeah, okay. We should be good to raise the car up. And... Start... On, uh, bleh, bleh, taking off the English is not my thing right now. We're gonna start taking off the transmission and the, the drive shaft. That way we can pull this engine and get started on the build because that is what I'm excited about and I'm sure most of you are too. So that should be pretty fun. I don't know how well this thing is can drift. Uh, I honestly haven't even tested it out. I didn't take it for a drive or anything. But we'll see. We'll try and do some drifting. I think it's just a cool car to be building, you know? Uh, it's just like a drift car. I think it's pretty neat. Instead of just like a, a regular car, we got a cool-ass drift car to work on. So, that should be everything here. I think we gotta take the exhaust pipes out. And we should be able to take these out now, too. We're gonna get all new muffler and exhaust pipes and all that cool stuff. And we should be able to lower this now. And... Take the engine out, so let's grab the cherry picker here. Next video is probably going to be the C10. I don't know. We might do a rebuild on a, a full restoration on a Camaro. I don't know. Uh, so this is probably just going to be one video, a one-part thing. The C10 was a two-part video. Or a two-part series, I guess you could say, for the C10 build. This one's just going to be one. This shouldn't take all that long uh, if I speed up the process uh, so we got that out everything is good we're gonna replace servo battery all the cool stuff in here and let's with let's stop uh, wasting time and get started on this engine build so let's go here and actually you know what they really need to make it where you can flip this freaking engine over in that section in that little uh, menu type thing here uh, so we're gonna need a v8 all this stuff i'm actually gonna go through and grab some things that i know i'm gonna need I need a V8, V8, and let's go grab some rod caps, and I don't know how many we're going to need, like eight, I think, we'll just buy ten just in case. Uh, valve push rods, we're going to need these, actually are we going to need these kind, yep, let's buy a bunch of these, I think it's normally like sixteen on these, and we're going to need some crank shaft bearing, um, I think it's like 8, but we'll buy 10. It doesn't hurt to have a couple extra. Um, what else? We're gonna need a cam. Let's go grab the cam shaft real quick. 
So we should just need the regular V8. I'm thinking. Yep, there we go. Boom. And we'll... Actually, you know While we're in there, let's grab the pistons. And we should be able to get started and get done with most of this. I'm thinking without having to buy a bunch of other crap. So we'll get these bearings in here. Pretty sure I already had enough bearings because I bought some earlier when I was just playing the game. But I can't remember. It doesn't hurt to have a couple extra. We're a kabillion trillionaire anyways, so it doesn't matter. So hopefully with these upgraded parts, we'll be able to actually... Um, what, what, am I, what am I saying here? I'm trying to hurry up because I don't want this to take too long. Oh, crap. We need piston rings. All right, got the piston rings. I done forgot what I was trying to say there. So, oops. But let's get these pistons in. What wasn't I going to say? Uh, I hope with these upgraded parts, this engine will build some, or make some more power. It should. It's dual overhead cam, and we're going to be using the upgraded parts with this, too, that give us, like, the horsepower bonuses and the torque bonuses and all that good stuff. So, I'm assuming this thing is going to make more power than the stock one that we just pulled out. And we'll get to the heads in just a second. Let's turn this thing over. There needs to be like a button you can press on the keyboard to do that. I hate having to get out of the menu. But I'm going to put all these rod caps on. Oil pan. Filter. And there we go. That's pretty much the bottom half of the engine done. So, let's flip it around again. And let's buy these heads. Oh, I don't want that yet. Which heads do we need? I'm assuming just the regular V8. Yep. Alright, now we should be able to go to the special parts. There's you. Get these screwed on. There's So there's both the heads, and I knew it. I knew I was going to need three more of these. So I'm going to grab these real quick. Uh, we just go to cam. And it was down here somewhere. V8. So we're going to need one, two, three more of those. I honestly, I said it in the last video, but man, I really wish that these engines actually had better sounds. Like, the engine sounds in this game were better. It's kind of a letdown, honestly, of what they sound like. But, I mean, I thought I had some of those. So we're going to need four cam gears and eight spark plugs. So let's go into the shop and grab these real quick. So let's just put, I'm going to put all these spark plugs in here real quick. And, uh try and get done with the cam gears and one more cam gear and we gotta get a uh, timing belt I believe we're gonna have to have two of those so let's grab that that we'll, we'll throw that on real quick then we'll grab the supercharger so I don't have that we ain't playing around okay there's not any bolts apparently okay interesting We'll slap this beast on here real quick. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. And we should be able to put this on, and then we can get the head covers. I think. Yep. Alright, so head cover B. Head cover A. Where are they at? Where are they at? A. And B. Get both of these beautiful head covers on here. I love that red. It looks really, really good on this engine. I wish you could uh, like pick the color of more of the parts, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that'd be cooler. I think I have one of these. No, I don't. I'm a dummy. Alright, so this is the fun part here. All of these daggum pulleys. So, I know we did this. I think I did this before. We need one. Alright, so let me do the idler roller bees. We need one, two, three, four of these. Five, actually. I'll buy six just in case, and I'm pretty sure we only need one idler roller A. And I'm going to get all these on here. This is just a tedious process. I like to cut out all the repetitive processes. Like, if there's, like, you know, see how there's five of these, I'll just show you, like, one, and then I'll cut the rest out. Because if you're seeing the same thing over and over and over again, it gets kind of boring. At least to me, it does. Uh, and we're going to need V8 water pump, steering pump V... Okay, we got this. I love how shiny it is. It looks really good. Water pump. There's a lot of parts of this engine, man. And then all these fun belts that we got to do. And remember, I think I already have this. 
Hopefully I already have everything. Damn it, I don't. Uh, we're going to need belt tensioner and servitine belt A. We'll throw that belt tensioner on there. One little bolt. Boop. Oh, and this. Yes, sir. And I knew it. That's why I bought two. Because I forgot. Like, I didn't remember, but I did remember. That's why I bought two. Because I, I was thinking. I, rem I think that I remember doing this one before. And there was this extra little idler roller here. So I'm glad I did buy two. Um, so now we just need to get the fuel rail DIs. Ignition coils. And a throttle. I know that for a fact. Let's throw that beautiful new throttle on there. The fuel rails. I love this engine. It, look, it looks really good. It's a good looking engine. And I forgot about the covers to these. Okay, so it was eight. I was right. Let's get these done real quick. I might have a cover, don't I? Nope. See, sometimes I buy things extra, so I like I like to double check if I still have one extra, you know. All right, there's the exhaust done. Uh, we're gonna need to buy the fi the flywheel stuff, but I'm pretty sure we are basically done with the main components of this engine. I'm gonna buy this flywheel stuff real quick, and then we'll drop it in the car. All right, got all the clutch and the flywheel shit out the way. So we are done with this beast. We're going to throw it in the car, put her on the dyno, and then we're going to go take it out to the track and see if we can drift it a little bit. And also I built this 180SX here. Uh, it looks really good. It's got the inline 4 in it and stuff. Fun motor to build. We're going to do that very soon on a build. We'll see what we can do. Probably like a Supra or something I'm thinking. But let's not waste any more time. Let's take this engine. Oh wait, no. i got to click on the engine stand itself. Take the engine off. Bring this stupid thing over here. Alright, the moment of truth. This is it, I think. V8. Nope, that's not it. Where's it at? This one. V8. Dual overhead cam. Supercharged. There she is. Oh, ho, 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 buddy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's nice right there. That's nice right there. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, yes. This is the same one. Okay. I was about to say. You can see some of the stuff... Is a little damaged, but that's just the brake pads. That's the front, by the way. I did do the rear. Um, so let's get this out the way. Get this flywheel and all the clutch parts on this bitch. Get the new exhaust, muffler, drive shaft, and transmission. Then it'll be ready for. We're not gonna do a custom tra transmission. We'll just do the the stock one. I don't feel like doing the uh, the whole you know custom tuning shit. We'll grab the drive shaft. Go over to Gearbox and look for that. We need the V8 one. Throw everything on here right quick. In our brand new Gearbox. What I like to see. What I like to see. We just got that brand new drive shaft as well. Oh, I think I put the wrong one on. This one is the one I meant. There we go. Much better. The other one was 89%, but might as well. Get a brand new transmission. Might as well put the brand new exhaust in there. All right, so I'm going to put the new radiator and uh, fuel filter, brake servo, and all that crap back in, and then we'll be ready to throw it on the dyno real quick. Uh-oh. Um, okay. So, I don't know why we can't start the engine. Why is it clicking like that, dude? Did I put the wrong battery in here? Oh, you know what? Dummy. This is why. Ha! <laughs> oh, gave myself a freaking heart attack, dude. Jesus Christ. Oh. Uh oh. Oh! We're forgetting the most important part. And it literally says it in the fucking name, guys. I'm an idiot. We're forgetting the starter. Uh, I don't know why I moved it over here, by the way, but... Guess we gotta lift this thing up. How are you gonna start your car without a starter? Let's get in it. I wanna see if she fires up. Oh yeah, she does. Thank God. All right, let's hop out. Let's put her in the dyno. And let's see how much horsepower she makes with these uh, custom parts, the advanced engine parts. Uh, I'm thinking definitely more than 706 or whatever it was factory. So let's go ahead and run this dyno test. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. I 
wasn't expecting a thousand. I was expecting like nine hundred, but got one thousand one hundred and ninety seven horsepower. Man, this thing's gonna swing sideways, hopefully, if the physics are good. Uh, but yeah, not a bad dyno test. We're gonna actually take this thing out to uh, one of the test tracks or whatever and see if we can get it sideways. Oh, oh. we're out here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, we spin them tires all the way in fifth gear. Drifting it. <laughs> Dude, this thing's a monster. It's kind of hard to freaking drift on the Daytona freaking speedway. Oh god. All right, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna see. Jesus, I'm like tapping the throttle. Let's we'll see if we can rip this corner right here and go around like that. Oh, yeah, baby. This thing is insane. Jesus Christ, we're doing helicopters. It honestly doesn't sound that bad. Like, when you fire up the cars in the game, like, I'm literally just trying to break here, man. Like, they don't really sound too good at idle, but when you get on it, they don't really sound too bad. Jesus. Alright, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for the drift car. This thing is pretty freaking insane, if I do say so myself. Um... <laughs> Maybe in the future we'll do more kind of crazy builds like this, and we might even get back on this thing and put a different engine in and see if see how well it'll drift with a different engine and gearbox. But this thing was pretty cool. Honestly, it turned out pretty good. It's really insane. It it flies like honestly, if I had like a controller, I could probably drift this thing pretty decently. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks for watching the drift cart build. Stay tuned for some more car mechanic simulator coming your way very very soon. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.